So guys, today we'll see what is remote desktop services. So this service is used to access the computer remotely. So when we access any computer remotely, let us say your servers are in data center. This is your server and it is in data center and you want to access this server to create the users Okay, it is your domain controller and you want to access this server. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So what is the IP address of this server? 10.0.0.1 and this is your computer, client one. And you use this client one and you want to create some users and you want to delete some users. You need to create some groups as well. So it is in data center and it is not a good practice to enter into data center to do the configuration. Instead of that, what you will do, you will access this server from your client machine. You will get the desktop of the server from your client machine. You can see this is the remote computer, you can say, and you are accessing this computer. You are accessing this laptop from this computer. Okay, so remote desktop service, accessing computer remotely, and it is helpful for the administration and it is disabled by default guys. Okay, you need to enable it. So it is not compulsory that you will access only the servers remotely. You can access any PC as well. You can access the workstation also. Let us say you went for troubleshooting on first floor or third floor. Okay. And uh, it is having some issues this computer is this PC is having some issues and you want to fix this issue on your desk. So what you will do instead of fixing the issue sitting in front of this PC, you will come back to your desk and you will access this PC. Let us say the IP address is 10.0.0.50. So you will go to your desk and you will access this PC and you will take your time and you will fix this issue. So what happens generally when you go to any desk for user desk and you try to fix it, all the users, they will surround you and they will disturb you. So instead of that, what you will do, you will take the IP address and you will access that PC on your desk and you will fix it. And it is disabled by default. And guys, over LAN, we need the private IP address. So if it is in a LAN, let us say, as we have discussed, we have multiple pieces. This is our domain controller and which is connected to switch, which is having some pieces, multiple pieces. And we are using 10.0.0.0 network. The IP address of this piece is 10.0.0.1, 10.0.0.2, 10.0.0.3, 10.0.0.4, and so on. So if you are accessing any computer remotely, you will use the private IP addresses. We are using this private IP addresses. And guys, by default, two users can access the server remotely. Okay, if you need more users to access the device remotely, you need to purchase a license. Okay, and uh, enable remote desktop service by default administrator is allowed. So when you, as we have discussed, this service is disabled by default. When you enable it, administrator is allowed. And let us say you want build to access the device remotely, then you need to add it manually. Okay. And what we will do, we will enable the remote desktop service. This is our lab. And if you want, you can add the users. So we will add bill and we will access the device remotely. Okay, for two, for more than two users, we must purchase the license. And license is available in two forms per user and per device. So if you want to purchase the license for users, let us say you need the license for 10 users. So these 10 users can access the servers from any device. And you can purchase the license per device as well. So you will use 10 devices. Any users can access, but it will allow only 10 devices. 
okay guys so what we will do now we will do this lab we will try to access the device remotely let me open the workstation as well servers are already open let us log on to this server and we are accessing this device in your lan so first what we will do we will try to access this server from this client and we'll see what will happen so how will you access the device remotely you will go to search and you will type msts okay remote desktop connection you will go to search and you will type this command and you will open it you will get this window remote desktop connection and you will type the ip address of the computer you want to access it remotely so we want to access this domain controller our 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.1 so it will try to communicate 10.0.0.1 it is it is connecting it is initiating the remote connection remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one of for one of these reasons the first reason remote access to the server is not enabled as we have discussed the remote access is disabled by default so it is disabled this is the first reason second reason the remote computer is turned off which means it might be shut down and the third reason is remote computer is not available on network so maybe someone has removed the cable but in our case we can ping let me show you we can ping 10.0.0.1 which means it is available it is not turned off it is not the cable is not removed it is available on the network the first this is the first reason remote access to the server is not enabled so we'll go to the server and we'll enable the remote connection so how will you enable it you will go to this pc right click properties here you will see this option remote desktop click this option and if you see yes it is disabled we need to enable it so it is taking the confirmation you and user selected under the user accounts will be able to connect this pc remotely confirm then here under this user accounts 
you will select this option select users that can remotely access this pc here you can edit if you observe here we have just enabled the remote desktop and administrator already has the access okay for administrator you don't need to add it all you have to do is to enable the remote de desktop if you want to add any user you will select this option and let us say we want to give the access to bill check names and bill is added so bill can access the device remotely so this is the domain controller so it it should be administrator then only he can access okay if you want to give the access of other devices he can access that devices as well so guys we have enabled the remote desktop we'll go to this client and we enter the ip address now it is asking for a password okay so the password is 123 one second the password is 1 2 and if you want you can check this option as well remember me so you don't need to type the password every time you access the device remotely if it is your desk you should check that option if you are accessing the devices from other computers so you should not check that option you should not remember the password okay so we'll click yes you can see name in the certificate from the remote computer is server dash 01 dot ms dot com yes and this screen will be locked because we are accessing this server from this client you can see the ip address here 10.0.0.1 and we are accessing this device remotely and here the screen is locked now okay and this is the domain controller and you can minimize the screen you can maximize the screen this is your screen and this is the domain controller screen if you want to create any user you will go to active directory can create the users our user you click next password never expires you'll click next finish okay now guys if you want to disconnect this remote connection you should not close it from here okay you should close it it is recommended to disconnect from here shut down and you will get this disconnect option when you access any device remotely you will get this disconnect option besides sign out shut down and restart you will get this disconnect option if you close this option this window will be closed but the connection will not be closed okay so better to disconnect it from here now let us go back to our domain controller okay this was the window which is open remotely you can see and the user is also the remote user so this is how you will access the device remotely in your lan 